A 12-year-old is charged with a really heinous crime. The 12-year-old is charged with a crime that allegedly was committed in a very small environment, his, his home that he is, is, was raised in or is living in, is not raised in. And they don't make an immediate arrest. They don't make an immediate arrest for two weeks. And he gives them a statement of how it happened. They then thereafter question him about probably six separate occasions, including the FBI does interviews with him. And there's a phrase in law enforcement, and those that do criminal defense know, if you can't crack a 12-year-old, if you can't turn a 12-year-old around to change their statement, something's going on. And so in this case, we had all these interviews. He never changed his statement. There was not an immediate arrest. And the odds of a 12-year-old committing a crime like this and not being immediately arrested, which everyone would agree wasn't premeditated, so it's not like a child who was 12 could have thought about how he would have an escape hatch for this. But um, so everyone agrees it's not premeditated. It couldn't have been premeditated. And here you go. Uh, it takes two weeks to arrest him. So additionally, what's been released by the sheriff's department and which has been released out there in the media is that there were several people, not just one. There was more than one who came up with a similar description. I mean, the boy gave a description of someone who he says was the assailant and not a great description because he didn't get a great look at him, according to his statement. Was he but lying? Are, he, gave, he did. He, he, he ta said there was an intruder. He gave a description. There was a massive manhunt. Was he lying about that? No. Look, there, look, I don't believe my clients lied about anything. And like I said, also, I'm still Joey, early ahead, into Joey. the case. Mark, let me ask you a question. It's Joey Jackson. On the issue of immediate arrest, I don't think the police are in the business of arresting immediately. I think the police are in the business of arresting appropriately, meaning you certainly want to make sure you have the right person. And so are you suggesting that because the police didn't immediately arrest them that there's some flaw with their investigation? You know, Joe, you're right. And, and uh, often, often, they want to make the appropriate arrest. Also, we all know about times where after a while they need to do something because the pressure's on. The FBI flew out. I mean, the pressure was on locally here to make an arrest at some point. And my point to you, Joe, really is that if immediately it wasn't apparent that this should be the number one suspect, then th there's something strange there for a 12 year old to you know, almost commit the perfect crime is that wasn't premeditated. What was your relationship to, uh, with his sister? What was the relationship with the 12 year old brother with his sister? By all accounts, wonderful. Neighbors in the community, the family members said the same thing. He was very appropriate with her. He was actually rather protective of her. They were blood related and they were very close. And in our in our investigation, we've talked to people that know him, not just the family, because the great proverb is you want to know about somebody, don't ask a family, so who, ask their neighbors. So will there be, you, he, go ahead, Joey. The, will there be an explanation, Mark, as I'm sorry, will there be an explanation as to how this death occurred? In other words, if he didn't do it, not that it's the defense's burden to establish who did. And of course, everyone's presumed innocent till proven guilty. But will there be some indication of how this death occurred? And are you saying your client had absolutely nothing to do with it? Absolutely nothing to do with it is what I'm telling you. From what I know now, two weeks into this case, from my review of everything, So who do you think do killed her? You have looked at a lot of evidence. Final question, who do you think killed Layla? We haven't looked at enough evidence to say who it is. All right. Mark, I appreciate you Skyping in. Uh, Layla's brother will be back in court on July 31st. That's when a judge will set a trial date. Until then, he's being held at a juvenile detention facility. If he's found guilty, he'll be locked up until his 23rd birthday.